Saxon Course 2, Lesson 88, is on multiple unit multipliers. So I need to use two unit multipliers to convert five hours into seconds. So first, I have to take that five hours, and I need to convert it into minutes. So the unit multiplier I'm going to use has to be 60 minutes and one hour. Since I need to cancel hours, the one hour is going to be on the bottom, and the 60 minutes on the top, because 60 minutes over one hour is equal to one. They're the same. Then I need to take those minutes and convert them into seconds. So I'm going to multiply that by 60 seconds over one minute so that the, the units can cancel. Okay, so first we're going to cancel the units, so hours and hours cancel, minutes and minutes cancel. So now I can multiply 5 times 60 times 60. So that is equal to 18,000 seconds. Because seconds is the label that I have left. Okay, so in this one, Diego wants to carpet a 16-foot by 9-foot room that has an area of 144 feet squared. Carpet is sold by the square yard. How many square yards of carpet does Diego need? So remember that foot squared is foot times foot. Thus, to convert from square feet to square yards, we need to convert from feet to yards twice. So we're going to use one yard equals three feet to create my unit multiplier. So I have 144 feet times feet. I'm going to multiply that by one yard over three feet. Okay. And then I have to multiply it a second time because I have two that feet that I need to cancel. One yard over three feet. Okay, I'm going to cancel my labels. Feet and feet cancel, feet and feet cancel. So I'm left with 144. Then I have that times one yard times one yard. So 144 yards squared divided by three times three, which is nine. Which is equal to 16 yards squared. This next one, a masonry contractor needs to pour a concrete foundation for a block wall. The foundation is one foot deep, one foot wide, and a hundred feet long. A cement truck will deliver the concrete. How many cubic yards of concrete should the contractor order? So a foundation is a rectangular prism. Its volume is 100 feet cubed, which is equal to one foot times one foot times 100 feet. Okay, so I need three unit multipliers to get rid of these feet and change them into yards. So it will look something like this. It will be 100 feet cubed times one yard over three feet times one yard over three feet times one yard over three feet. Okay, so those feet cancel because I have three of each. So I end up with 100 yards cubed because I have three yards divided by three times three is nine times three is 27. So 100 divided by 27 is equal to 3.7 yards cubed, is how much concrete he needs to order. Now we would probably want to make sure there's enough concrete, so he can round that up to 4 yards to make sure that he has enough. Okay. On this one, as Tina approached the traffic light, she slowed to 36 kilometers per hour. Convert 36 kilometers per hour to meters per minute. So, kilometers per hour, we need to switch to meters per minute. 
we're going to use one unit multiplier for the distance, kilometers per meter and meter, and one unit, unit multiplier to cover hours per minute, hours and minutes. So we're going to start with 36 kilometers per one hour. I'm going to multiply that because I need to get rid of this kilometers first. So there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So I'm going to use that unit multiplier. Now I need to get rid of the hours. So I'm going to multiply that by another unit, unit multiplier, one hour over 60 minutes because there are 60 minutes in one hour. Now it can start to cancel. So kilometers and kilometers cancel, hours and hours cancel. So I'm left with 30 or three, 36,000 meters divided by 60 minutes. 36,000 divided by 60 is equal to 600 meters per minute as my final answer. Okay. So just remember, you have to be able to cancel everything, all of the labels you no longer need. In this case, we didn't need to have the kilometers, and we didn't need the hours. Okay, last one. Claude's car averages 12 kilometers per liter of fuel. Claude's car averages how many miles per gallon? So I need to convert kilometers per liter into miles per gallon. Okay. So the unit multipliers we're going to use is one kilometer is about equal to 0 0.62 miles. And one gallon is about 3.781 liters. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 12 kilometers per one liter. That's the first thing I'm starting with. Now I need to get rid of the kilometers. So I'm going to multiply that by this unit multiplier, which will be 0 0.62 miles over one kilometer. Then I need to get rid of the liters and change it into gallons. So I'm going to times that by one liter, oh, excuse me, 3.78 liters over one gallon. Okay, now I can start to cancel. Kilometers and kilometers cancel, and then liters and liters cancel. So I'm going to end up with 12 times 0 0.62 miles times 3.78 and all that divided by one gallon. Now with this one you could put it in a calculator or round it, but we're going to end up with about 28 miles per gallon as my answer. And that's it for this lesson.